Have you ever stopped to think about insurance? Odds are probably not, at least not until something unfortunate happens to you. Meet Jack. He's been questioning this whole insurance thing and is having a hard time seeing the big picture. How about we pause this for a moment and rewind a bit? A few weeks ago, Jack was looking for a career, one that would make a difference in people's lives. He saw insurance on the list, but wasn't sure how that would qualify as a make-a-difference kind of job. He'd seen commercials on TV that always seemed to make him laugh, but leave him wondering, why would I want to work in insurance? In search of answers, he asked some of his friends, but they all seemed to say the same thing. It's just a bunch of baloney. Finally, Jack asked his friend who worked at an insurance company. Surely insurance can't be just a bunch of baloney. To Jack's surprise, he said that insurance is a bunch of baloney. Hmm, let's break it down. The components of a bologna sandwich are bologna, bread, and mustard. What enabled that magnificent blend to appear on your plate? What? You don't like bologna? You're kidding. Try frying it next time. First of all, bologna is a pork sausage. The pig is raised on a farm. How was that farmer able to buy a farm in the first place? He had to borrow money. No bank would lend him anything unless he could prove the farm buildings were insured. So he had to have property insurance. What about the vehicles on the farm? He needs insurance for those, especially if he transports his pigs to the processing plant where the bologna is made. No pigs were harmed in the drawing of these pictures. And what about that processing plant? Is that building insured? Does the owner insure his machinery? Do the employees who work there need insurance to protect them on the job? How about the product itself, the bologna? Does the manufacturer need insurance to protect his operation in case somebody sues him for getting sick eating his bologna? How about the store that sells the bologna? Will they also get sued? Doesn't that store also need property insurance, workers' compensation insurance, life and health insurance as benefits to the workers? <sighs> Affirmative. That same store might have sold the bread for the bologna sandwich. They probably bought that bread from a bakery that also had property insurance, liability insurance, vehicle insurance for its delivery trucks, and products liability insurance. Did you drive to the store to buy the bologna, bread, and mustard? Then you need auto insurance. You also have to eat that sandwich someplace. Is your kitchen in a house, condo, apartment, or mobile home? You see, Jack's problem was that he wasn't seeing the big picture. When you take a step back, it's easy to see how insurance is connected to our world. And if that was to ever be dis... Hey! Don't do that! <sighs> One moment. You get the idea. It's easy to see that you couldn't even enjoy the simplest things in life, like a bologna sandwich, without all kinds of insurance products and a large number of insurance companies to provide them. So the next time when you think about insurance, hopefully it's just about how great it is. And in those moments, when something goes wrong, insurance is there to pick you back up.